hot dog, hot diggity dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. It's a brand new way. What you waiting for? Get up, stretch out, get on the floor. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, hot dog, hot dog, diggity dog. It's a brand new way. What you waiting for? Get up, stretch out, get on the floor. So just for the, so the recording knows, your dad is Jeremy. Yes. And Jeremy knows you're talking with me right yes. now. Yes. Okay. So we're talking about uh, Chris and Shanann Watts and uh, some responsibilities you might have had for babysitting their children. Yes. So how long have you known Chris and Shanann? Um, my dad used to work with them and I think I got to meet them when I was around six or seven years old. So Jeremy is your dad. Yes. And who did he work with? He worked with both of them. They both worked at Longmont Ford. Um, Shanann was a salesperson and Chris was a mechanic. Okay. Do you remember when that was? Hmm, I would say probably in 2013 or 14-ish. Is when they all worked there at the same time. What did your dad do there? Um, he was an internet manager. Does your dad still work at? No, he works at Siltahar Motors now. Works at Siltahar, okay, down in Boulder. Yeah. And do you know what Chris and Shannon do now? Um, yes, uh, Shannon advertises um, this thing called Thrive, which is a patch you wear that gives you like energy boosts, I guess. And then 
uh, Chris does the oil company where they drill in the ground to find oil. I think it's called Anadarko. Anadarko, yeah. so he works there. Yes. And Shannon, does she mainly, or Shanann, sorry, mainly work from home? Yes. Or does she travel or? Um, she travels for business when they have like conventions and stuff and she posts on Facebook and I think she advertises and that's what her job do is to advertise for Thrive. Okay, so she's an advertiser and he works in the oil industry. Mm -hmm. And so you think you've known them since five or six years? Yeah. So you babysit for them not on a regular basis or on a regular basis? Not on a regular basis. Okay. Uh, so when's, how many times have you babysat for them? Just once. Once. And when was that? Saturday night. Okay, so today is the 14th. Mm -hmm. Monday is the 13th. Sunday is the 12th. So the 11th. So the 11th? Yes. Okay, so you babysat for them on Saturday. What time did you start babysitting? 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m.? Yes. And who asked you to babysit? Um, Chris had contacted my dad. On what day? Um, Friday. Do you know what time? Uh, no, I do not know what time. And he asked? He asked if I could babysit their kids while he went to the Rockies game and Shanann was out of town. Do you know who he was going to the Rockies game with? Um, he said something about how it was with his work or something from his work. Because my dad was going to the Broncos game that night and my dad had invited him to go to the Broncos game because he had an extra ticket and he said he couldn't because this is something from work. So friends or something from work? Yeah. Did you see, so what time, how did you get to his house? Did you babysit there or did he come here? I went there, my mom dropped me off. And that was on Saturday? Yes. Your mom, what's your mom's name? Jennifer. Lindstrom? Yes. Do you know your mom's birthday? Uh, July 1st, 1981. That's awesome, yeah. your mom's birthday. <laughs> So Saturday, your mom drops you off. What time? 4.30. Was anybody at the house? Uh, Chris and his two daughters. Okay. What are his daughters names? Celeste and Bella. How old Celeste? She's three and Bella is four. Anybody else at the house besides those three? No. So tell me what happens. Your mom drops you off? Does your mom come in with you? No. You just get out? Yeah. Going by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a cell phone? I do. What's your number? 720-326-7373. And your address is 265 Sunbeam Court, Erie. What's, yes. What's the zip code here? 80516. So you go into the house, um, Chris, Celeste, and Bella are there, mm -hmm. all right, and do you, does Chris tell you what he wants you to do, or tells yeah. you, tell, tell me what Chris tells you, um, and I you said, sorry, let me back up real quick, um, Shanann was not home, she was somewhere else, Yes. where was she? Arizona for her work. And Chris told you that? Yes, and I had seen posts on Facebook because I'm friends with Shanana. Okay, Facebook. so you saw, you knew. Yeah. But Chris told you the same. Yes. Okay. So, tell, just tell me your conversation with Chris when you show up. Um, I walked in and then he asked what kind of pizza I liked because he was gonna order me and the girls pizza for dinner. So he got on the phone and ordered them pizza. Uh, he gave them their medicine before he left because he didn't want me to have to worry about that and they were already in their pajamas and he said I just have to play with them and then at seven o'clock lay them down for to go to bed and he so just, he told you to put them down at seven yes and he just showed me where their cameras were for their rooms and showed me how to what kind of cameras um they were like installed on the wall and there was like this little mini thing I could watch to make sure they were okay. 
in their beds. So like a little television you were watching and you could see the kids? Yeah, it was like a handheld and it switched back from each room. Okay, was that part of their video surveillance or was it separate? I think it was separate. And then, uh... Do you know then, if that recorded or was it just live? I think it was just live. Okay. And then he gave me a cell phone number just in case I needed anything. Do you remember and then, what that is? No, it was on the counter and I didn't need it. And then Shanann was texting me and she was like, are the girls okay? I'm like, yeah, they're fine. So Shanann knew you were there too? Yes, she called Did me. Did Chris ever text you? No. Um, so Shanann knew you were there because Chris told her, or yeah. did you tell her? I think Chris told her. Okay. So how did Chris leave the house? But, so did he run you through these instructions? Do you recall what the girls were wearing? Yes, they were wearing two nightgowns, and actually a police officer came over today to, and they had pictures and they told me to pick out which ones they were wearing. So they went through that with you. Yeah. Can you just describe them, what they were wearing, um, if you remember? They were two nightgowns, and I think one was blue, and they just had like little kid like stars and hearts and sparkles and stuff on them. Okay. And I think the other one was like a peach color. Okay. Do you remember what was on that one? What's that? Do you remember what was on um, that one? They were kind of similar. It's still like the stars and the hearts. And I have a picture what, of what Cece was wearing. Did you take a picture of her that night? Um, Chris took the picture, I'm pretty sure. On your phone? No, he posted it on Facebook. Or Shanann posted it because he was sending them pictures of the girls when she was checking in on them. How did... Okay, tell me how somebody got a picture of the girls that night. Um, oh, I'm pretty sure it's taken on Chris's phone. And then I'm guessing he sent it to her and then she had posted it on Facebook, so that's how I saw it. Prior to him leaving for the game? Um, I can check when she posted it. Okay. Because I, I noticed that that was the same exact thing she was wearing when I came over to watch them. Yeah, she posted it on Saturday at 10.30 at night, so, and that's the night I babysat. Can I see that picture? Yes. That's the youngest one, Celeste, but she goes by CC too. You don't mind if I take a picture? Go ahead. Phone? Is it bad lighting? Posted that Saturday, and that's the clothes, the clothing that um, Celeste was wearing yes. <clears throat> um, the night that you babysat for them. So, is that? Do you think that's prior? What time did you babysit? You you got there at four thirty. Yeah. Time did you leave? Um, around ten thirty. Were the kids sleeping? Yes. So I'm guessing that was before I came because it's like. not send that picture to Shanae. Mm -mm. Chris must have. Yes. Do you remember what Chris was wearing when he left? Um, a white t-shirt and darkish, almost black jeans. Do you remember if the t-shirt had anything on it? No, I think it was plain. Do you remember his shoes? No. Was he wearing a jacket, anything else? Mm-mm. Does he wear glasses? 
Yeah, he usually doesn't, but when he wore him, he left, I'm pretty sure he was wearing his glasses. Like reading glasses or sunglasses? Reading glasses. And did he, he left your phone number to reach him. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that, again, you said it was just written down on yeah. the counter? It was written on a note? Yeah. Okay. Do you know who he left with? No. Did you see the vehicle or the car that he left in? No, he told me to go distract the kids while he left so they didn't get upset that he was leaving. Did you hear a car? No. He, did he take his own truck or do you think he left with somebody? Um, I'm not sure because his work truck was parked in front of the house and I never looked in the garage or anything to see if any vehicles Did the work truck ever leave? No. What's his work truck look like? Um, it's big and brown and it has like a bunch of mechanical stuff on the back of it. It looks like for the oil fields. Does it have any markings on it? No. Does it say the name of the business? No, it's blank. Because I remember the girls kept pointing it out because they're like, that's my daddy's truck. So the girls are three and four, but do they talk with you a lot? Yes, they're very talkative. They're very talkative? Yes. Okay. So did they tell you anything that was happening? Was there anything that was concerning that you heard? Um, Bella just, she sat by me and she was really concerned. This, her little sister fell asleep before her, so she sat on the couch with me for a while. And she actually told me something. She said, like, can I ask you something? And I was like, yeah. She was like, my little sister has, like, she told me if she eats coconut, she'll never be able to see her again. So I'm guessing that the littlest one has a severe allergy and that's what they told her that if she eats that she'll never be able to see her again and she was really upset by that. Bella was? Yeah. And so if CC ate um, coconut she would potentially yeah. die? I know she has a tree nut oil, uh, allergy but I never heard coconut so I wonder if they just, I don't know if she got coconut. So CC has a uh, tree nut allergy? Yeah, like a severe one. So you, you watch the children, he leaves about, you get there at 4.30, what time do you think he leaves? Um, probably 4.45, after we've like gone through everything and he orders the pizza for us. Where was the pizza from? Papa John's, I think. Okay. And he leaves about 4.45, you didn't see who he left with. Mm -mm. Okay, you, you watch the kids, any phone calls? Do you see anything out of place at the house? Is anything weird? It seemed normal. They all were acting normal. The kids were having fun. And the house seemed fine. Okay. And what, you put the girls down at seven? Yeah. And then what time does Chris come back? Um, around 10.30. So anybody else in the house while you're there? Just you and the two girls? Yeah, my mom was waiting outside to pick me up because he told me 10, so my mom came at 10, but when he came home, he said he had gotten stuck in some traffic, which was understandable. Okay. And your mom was there to pick you up? Yeah. She was waiting outside the house in her car. She just waited in her car? Yeah. Um, he gets home at 10.30, mm -hmm. and he was at the Rockies game, right? Yes. That's where he said he was going? Yes. Did he mention anything that happened, or...? He just gave me the money, and I left. He didn't tell you? He said he got stuck in traffic? Yeah. Was he wearing the same clothing? Yes. And you didn't ever see who he came back with? No, I, my mom saw him come home, so... Your mom did? I bet if she, you asked... I'm home with the family, and um, they're excited to try the new Crowbars, and they came in, I think, yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we have cookies and cream, and we have lemon ring. Who wants Crowbars? Me! I do. Alright, so who, do you guys want lemon meringue first, or do you want cookies and cream? Cookies? You want the lemon meringue? Thank you.
2 grams of sugar, and 20 grams of protein. So they're really good for you. So you guys have a great night. Love you. And um, that we're going to be ceasing our fighting over birthday cake. So, all right. Say bye. Bye. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>so much for coming out here with me Christopher I'm having a wonderful time you mean a lot to me and I'm glad that you're having a blast I am so out of breath <laughs>